Hello, my name is Ken Tomiyama here. Oop. Here, here we go, Tomiyama. And I am going to talk about my class, Fundamental Mathematics for Robotics. You wonder what kind of this, what kind of course this one is. And uh, I will explain that in this welcome note. Okay, what is this course? Actually, I'll give you three questions. First one is this, what is this course? Since uh, this is called a fundamental mathematics for robotics, you think this is a mathematics course, which is not. This is a course of mathematical tools. The important word here is a tool for robotics. Mathematics is actually a tool for us robotics engineers. And if we know how to use those tools, and if we are good at using those tools, we can do a lot of different good things with robotics. So, robot engineers, mathematics is a useful tool, so you need to know how to use those mathematical tools to design and control your robot. And the best way, of course, is to start from robots, from robots, and find what's needed. So don't start from mathematics and apply to robots. We start from robots and see what kind of things, how mathematics can help us. Second question, who should take this course? Okay, nobody but serious robot enthusiasts. I'm sure you are watching this one here because you are interested in robotics. And if you want to do some serious work with a robot, you need mathematical tools. And those who want to be robotics engineers, of course, many of you want to be robotics engineers. Uh, I'm sure about that. So, for example, high school students who are interested in robots, with minimum mathematics. Well, you should know, you should have a little bit of mathematical background. So I put images of differentiation, integration, and vectors and matrices. You don't have to know the details of those. If you have heard about those, okay, that's fine. I can, I will teach you. First year university students, oh my. First year university students, you need to take those courses called Calculus and Linear Algebra, right? In STEM field, okay, Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics field. And that's the, that's the time when you really start hating, start, you know, dislike mathematics. Unless, unless you know how to use those mathematics as tools for your area. So I do that using robotics as an, as an area. And there are some few people, uh, anybody who wants to take an easy way to learn basic mathematics. I don't think there are many of those people, but there are a few people I got used to. No. Okay. The third question. How should you take this course? How? What we mean, what do I mean by how? I have heard, I mean, I, I have an experience that uh, many students, especially, you know, the Oriental students are very quiet and be passive in taking classes, but you shouldn't. So with a critical mind, you should always ask when you take my class, we should always ask, is that really true or really kind of things, okay? Be critical. Why? Because nobody is perfect. And when I was teaching this class offline, you know, I told my students that I would give three extra points for finding errors in my lecture. Because I make errors. And it is fun to find errors of your teacher, isn't it? Each lecture may contain an error. Typographical errors, English errors, because English is not my own mother language and also logical errors as well okay so if you find any of those or questions or com comments send it send them to me at dr.t at fuero.org by the way dr.t doc t is my nickname so all right so please enjoy this class i'm sure you can enjoy it and you, you will see how robots require mathematical tools.
Okay? And this type of class cannot be made by just myself. Many people have contributed to, to this class. With much appreciation to Ms. Nomura for uh, management and especially editing. Editing is not easy, right? As you know. Uh, Ebine, uh, he set up all those uh, YouTube channels, etc., etc. Without him, I couldn't do anything. And faculty members of the Department of Advanced Robotics at CIT, Chiba Institute of Technology, where I used to teach. Okay, I, I, I had a very nice uh, fellow teachers. And Dr. Takayuki Furuta, he is the manager of the Future Robotics Technology Center, FURO, where I belong right now. And partners at VNU UET, Vietnamese National University, University of uh, engineering and technology. I helped them create a first ever robotics department in Vietnam at their university. And this lecture was originally created for them because of this corona pandemic. I couldn't go there to give the lecture, so therefore I prepared this for them originally. And my students, okay, I got, I've been teaching since uh, 19, what, 77, 78? Long, long time ago, right? So I taught many students and they're always a um, source of inspiration. Students always teaches me, as well as me teaching to students. So I hope you can teach me something. So send me whatever your uh, comments and so forth to me at that address. Well, thank you and enjoy this class.